All right, I just got back from taking my kindergartner to school and today we are going to attempt to make cream centers for some chocolates, just like how Hercules Candy does their cream centers. So, um, I've been doing, doing some research. We've been watching a lot of videos and I think the situation is we need like one part corn syrup to two parts of sugar and then two, two kettles of water. So I guess just some, some water. And then we add a couple of other things. Um, I don't want to make a 30 pound batch of cream. That's it's a little bit too much probably for me. So I'm going to do like 600 grams, I think. Um, also, I don't have corn syrup. Um, I have glucose syrup, but I think f that that will be fine. I think that um, when I've watched some videos by Anne Reardon, she has used glucose syrup and said that corn syrup can be a replacement for that if you can't get glucose syrup. So I think it probably works both ways. So I'm gonna get you guys situated on my bench and we will start weighing and measuring and doing the things that I'm excited we can we can do this it's gonna be great okay I'm ready bought myself a new toy the other day so I think this guy's gonna feature prominently in future videos but got my scale there saucepan um, I even have a copper kettle does anyone really I even have a copper saucepan but um, we've got this guy so we're gonna set him up there um, How's that angle for you guys? That'll that'll probably do. All right. Um. So I just have glucose syrup right here. Turn this guy on, and I'm gonna weigh out 200 grams. All right. That's probably good. Let me get some sugar. All right. So. Uh, when I went a little over, I'm sure that four grams won't make a huge amount of difference. Now, I've got some white sugar. Um, this is cane sugar because that's what, that's what sugar is in Australia, cane sugar. So, I want to bring this up to 600 grams. Okay, um, so there, all right, now I'm gonna add some water. Um, probably quarter cup, that, that's probably fine. Add that in. All right, now, my wooden spoon is a bit smaller than the one they use there. It's also stained with turmeric, but that's okay. I'm gonna give this a little to, um, get it going and then we will get it onto the stove. Um, oh my word. Sick. Maybe I need more water. I'm going to add more water. Turn the scale off. Um, so that looks like a thing, I guess. Kind of squelchy, wet, sandy, almost. I'll probably stir it a little more and then we'll put it on the stove. Okay, let's take to the stove and then we will brush down the sides with um, a pastry brush and some water. 
Uh, or you turn the stove on because I can't do that one handed. So that is there. Now we need our pastry brush. Which is where? Um, I'm gonna have to find it. Hang on. Found it. Okay. Needs water. I'm so, so, so unprepared. Okay. Uh, get some water. So clearly I didn't do the French thing of getting your things ready before you start. Um, but anyway, that's fine. Let's just brush down these sides. Okay, that looks appropriately brushed. So now we'll get the candy thermometer, which is over here behind some very old bananas. There it is. So here's where we want to get to, right? Just in there, 240. So let's clip this on. Make sure it's not touching the bottom. Okay, and we'll be back when that is done. temperature so I've killed the heat. Take this out. And then I'm gonna take syrup over here. Maybe we'll just wait a second until the bubbles die down. You're okay buddy, don't freak out now. Okay, we're gonna take it over here to mix up. Just a little bit of water in the bottom, cause, cause that's what they said to do. So, here we go. scraping that because I can't find a spatula. That's okay. So, it's alright buddy. So we just have to leave that now to cool down until heat stops rising off it, I guess. Um, so I guess we'll be back when that's done. I almost forgot the other thing we have to add. Invites. This might, is this gonna be backwards because of how I'm filming? I don't know, anyway, um, this, this stuff, we have to add this stuff in there, so, hang on. All, all my things, okay, it's gone, it's gone, okay. whatever, we'll use this one. I'm gonna add two, shh, baby, it's okay. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of this stuff to there. Um, yeah, because, because, just, just because. Can you see? There we go. Okay. This is a half teaspoon measure. So, oh, buddy, it's all right. Please don't freak out right now. Okay. So now we're gonna let it cool. Okay. Well, that seems like it's cool enough now. Took um. Wait, wait. Where are we? There. It took about as long as it took to make eggs on toast to cool down. So, like maybe ten minutes. Um, so let's lower this down. Okay, and then we're gonna put it onto one. Couple of hours, maybe. I don't know. I'll I'll let you know how long it takes. So 
So that took like 20 minutes. And I think it's done. I think? I don't know. It's hard to tell. But it looks like it's nice and flowy, I guess. So I think now I'm gonna scrape I'm gonna I'm gonna scrape off the paddle and then I'm going to get my starch room organized. Okay, now let me show you the rest of the equipment I've got here. Instead of a starch room, I have a box with starch. And guys, I almost bought bicarb soda instead of corn starch. I don't know what was going through my mind, what, what insanity that would have been. A whole situation. Anyway, box with corn starch, a tray. That's for the cornstarch to go in. And then I have this ice cube tray, which I thought would be a cool, you know, to make the, the holes. And I bought a new paintbrush for this purpose only, just for making creams. And then instead of a funnel and a stick, I have this battered dispenser situation, which I'm hoping will work. It's, um, it just, you squeeze, squeeze the handle and it, I don't know, what do you reckon? Do you think that will work? Who knows? All right, let's work on getting starch into there and see what we can, see what we can come up with. Okay, let me see here. Okay, how's that angle for you? All right, looks good. I think I might need a, uh, Spoon, potentially. Looks like the tool for the job. Um, I think I'm going to need more cornstarch. I don't have any more, so that's going to be a problem. Let me see if I can... something maybe oh I know what I used the other day these disposable lids off the foil trays that'll work okay okay it's not bad not super flat but not bad for a first effort okay let's see if we can Okay, okay, that, that could work. It's definitely going to be like some lumpy looking crooked creams, but that's okay, right? These are just for me to eat. Yep, that happened. Sorry guys. Okay. Let's try that. Maybe not quite so close to the edge of the bench. Let's see if I can, hmm. Oh, what if I put that in, that one in, yeah. If we go back into the same hole, that could work, right? I think I'm actually a genius. Not really, but. Those are some really, really lumpy, crooked looking holes, but I think it's okay. I think it's going to work. And I've already got this much mess all over my bench, so I can definitely see why they do it in a designated room at Hercules Candy. Okay, now let's move on to this. I think next step is to get this into a double boiler and then 
add some flavor and color and all that jazz. So let's get a heat proof bowl happening. Okay, I've got a bowl. I'm gonna put maybe not all of this, maybe half of this into this bowl. Let's see if we can do it without a huge disaster happening. This bit, we'll save that for run. This one, we're going to take over to the stove and put over the heat. So I have pot of water there. So we'll get that going. Oh, hello. It's real. It's real sticky. I don't know how well this is going to work, but we're going to find out. This is an adventure after all. Let's talk about um, flavoring. So originally I wanted to do strawberry flavor because I like it, but I went to the store that sells the stuff and they did not have any strawberry flavoring. So I got peppermint instead. So this is what we're going to be using. And this is flavored food coloring. So that's going to make it green and taste like peppermint at the same time. So that's, that's pretty cool. I'm now going to read the directions and see how much I should add. Said to add half a teaspoon to a quarter cup. So I'm going to add a teaspoon and see how that goes. Green. Green and smooth, so I'm going to turn the heat off and then guess we need to um, get it into our batter dispenser. Okay, watch me be really bad at aiming this. So far, so good. I think the only way I could be happier with this is if it was pink and strawberry flavored. But you know what? In the absence of strawberry flavoring, I'll, I'll take it. It seems to be working really well. So that went way better than I thought it would. Now I just have that many dishes to do up. And um, and these guys right here can sit overnight. They're, they're probably a little greener than I would like, but what can you do with flavored food coloring? I mean, if you put less in, then it's gonna be less flavorful. So we're gonna leave those guys overnight and I'll see you tomorrow and we'll see if we can actually get them out of there and they can be covered in chocolate. Hopefully they're not too sticky. Stay tuned. Oh, I pink again. Okay, it's the next day and we're gonna see how these guys turned out and see if we can get them covered in chocolate. So let me get you set up and we'll Get him, get him out. Let's get, let's do this. Let's do this thing. Okay, I've got my box. I've got my tray with baking paper. I've got my sieve. I've got a baby who just had needles, so I'm not sure how long he's gonna tolerate being left on the floor. But let's, let's, let's see how we, see how we did. Let's, let's do the thing. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm oh. gloves. Because I know if I don't, someone's going to freak out. See? Glove. Second glove. Nobody panic. Okay, let's do this thing.
Oh my gosh, look at that. That's perfect. Okay, let me get my, my new paintbrush that I bought just for this and we'll see if we can give these guys a little, a little dust off just thusly and then set them on this tray over here. All right, let's do that. These are all very uneven, but I think that's what makes them special, you know? Oh, look at that. Way quicker to do it in the sieve. Okay, looks, looks good. Cool. Okay, next step is going to be to chocolate them. So I'm going to go ahead and get this chopped up and starting to melt and then I'll, I'll we'll, we'll come back. We'll be back. Let's we'll be back. Yeah. Okay. I got some chocolate and we're going to put these in the chocolate and then put onto this tray. I chose dark chocolate because I think that dark chocolate and mint is a better combination than milk chocolate and mint. Feel free to disagree. Um, that's fine. Okay. Let's see. Whew. Oh my gosh. Okay. We have begun. Oh. The process has begun. Here we go. Let's see if we can make this a thing. Oh, look at that. I don't know if you can, I don't know if it's showing up on video, but my chocolate is already starting to harden. It is tempered. I mean, okay. I, I didn't take it out of temper, so of course it's tempered. It's fine. But look, it's doing its thing, and it's such a such a messy and amazing. These do not look <laughs> look like anything shop bought at all, but I think that's what makes them beautiful. They just they're just their own thing. They're just their own thing, and I'm excited to see if the cream center actually worked. It seems like it's. It seems like it might have worked. It seems like, you know, it, it's not super sticky or anything. So that's a good sign, I think. I think, I'm not really sure. Look at that, look at that. This is, this is excellent. This is just, ugh. can you tell I'm excited? Cause I am so excited. This is amazing. Look how much mess I'm making. There's chocolate everywhere. This is awesome. If you have never played with melted chocolate, guys, I strongly recommend. It is like so messy, but amazingly therapeutic at the same time. This is, this is probably the most fun I've had in a long time. I forgot how much fun it is to get your hands in chocolate. Especially when you remember to put gloves on so the haters don't like freak out about your fingers or anything. Okay, I gotta go do it with the baby. I'll be back when these are all set. Oh my god. I think we did it. Crack one open and see. We'll do this one because it looks like it's got a little seepage happening. Let's see. It works! Look at that! It's... It's... It's like actually perfect. It actually looks exactly like how it's supposed to. I am amazed. <laughs> I am like, I'm gobsmacked. This is awesome. All right. I mean, 
we have to we have to try it, right? I've never had Hercules candy, but that tastes exactly like the mint one out of the box of roses. That's, it can be done, guys, it can be done. And if you have a stand mixer in the time, do it, definitely do it. Okay, I've got these little, little teeny weeny adorable chocolate chocolate cups I'm gonna I'm gonna put them in so they look real profesh real profesh oh goodness this is hard with the gloves on let me tell you look at that I mean probably okay. slow down Sarah take a minute it's like take off the extra extra little bits there and then stick it in. Look at that! That's like... That's so beyond adorable. So cute. Okay. So then... I have box. I have box with balloons on. I'm gonna... I'm gonna put in box. I'll come back and show. Guys. Guys. Oh my god. We did it. It it can be done. You can actually make cream-filled chocolates at home using just home equipment. This is so dangerous. This is going to be This is this is not going to be good. This is I mean it's 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 good. Please. Let me let me show you. Let me show you what I did here. So there's like three little layers of chocolates in there. The lid on the top. So adorable. I'm like, I'm so, oh my God, I'm so excited. This is, this is beyond all of my wildest hopes and dreams in this tiny box. And I, I, I wouldn't even know if it could be done, but here we are. And it's, it's been done. Ha. <sighs> Okay, thanks for coming on this adventure with me, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.